Testing the electrical bit air rate of 100G systems for jitter performance requires open eyes at the input to the communication system receiver. With very high frequencies and non-traditional signal paths, this can be a real challenge for an engineer. And the Tektronix LE320 offers flexible controls permitting the user to design levels of signal conditioning as needed for 100G standards. In many of today's silicon design labs, characterization of receivers must occur across a wide array of physical channel loss profiles, which typically involves stocking up on physically different backplanes or specialized reference channels. When using the LE320, engineers can deploy a flexible 9-tap filter configuration to model all of those physical channels and interconnects and provide a flexible method using signal integrity to open eyes in this video, we'll take a look at how it works. The Tektronix LE320 is built with very efficient packaging that lowers cost and provides a portable device suitable for placement near the device under test, as shown here. With two differential inputs and outputs, the LE320 has a clockless design, eliminating the clock to data alignment concerns found in other digital signal processors. And the LE320 provides very minimal intrinsic jitter addition to the signal as it passes through the device. Programming the LE320 is accomplished via USB control from a remote PC. Here we are looking at a monitor that displays the LE320 setup screen in the lower right, the DS8300 sampling scope output in the upper left, and the BERT scope in the upper right. In this configuration, the sampling scope is acting as the receiver or the output of the device, and the burst scope is acting as the pattern generator. In the middle is a frequency plot that monitors the output of the LE320 as a model channel effect. With this in place, a design engineer can conduct real-time signal processing adjustments to their receiver test setup. Now let's look at a few examples demonstrating the flexibility using this display. Here in the first example, you can see how we can manually adjust up to nine different taps. By controlling the sliders on the nine different taps, you can see how the frequency behavior of the signal is changing over time on the frequency response plot in the center of the screen. Now as we get to a configuration that we're happy with, watch how the sampling scope reacts. In the second example, we're showing how you can select from a broad range of preset profiles corresponding to specific standards recommendations. These profiles are loaded into the LE320 and provide loss or gain and then can be stored and recalled electronically to facilitate silicon test under a broad set of profiles without the overhead and the inconsistency normally found when physically having to pro provide reference channels to test against. In the third example, we're using cursor controls in a four-tap configuration to give you an idea of the flexibility that engineers can provide in doing signal processing setups with the LE320 from a manual perspective. In this environment, we can dial in cursor control on specific placement of tap settings in the right hand of the setup screen, and then using the taps themselves to do manual setup of frequency characteristics on the left side. And in the last example, using the LE320, this is the most powerful example shown, where we can integrate a touchstone file containing the S parameters of a physical channel or connector and embed those signal properties right into the receiver test setup to replicate the physical backplane or reference channel configurations that an engineer would normally have to procure and measure themselves in their lab. With these touchstone files, the LE320 becomes a powerful replacement for what would normally re require a large investment in hardware and configuration setup. As you can see from this short video, the LE320 is a powerful signal conditioning accessory to the Tektronix family of BERT testers. For more information on the LE320 or to schedule a demonstration, please contact Tektronix through www.tektronics.com. Thank you for your time.